My name is Karen Lowy and I am an attorney with Gay and Lesbian Advocates and Defenders. It's never okay for a school administrator to say to a student who comes to that administrator saying, I've been harassed, I've been bullied, to say, oh, well, boys will be boys. You know, these things are just part of growing up. Grow, grow a tougher skin. Stop acting so gay. Stop being who you are. You're bringing this on yourself. Those are not okay responses. It's the school's obligation to keep you safe and you have tools that you can use, that the law gives you to advocate, you can remind the school that it is their job to respond to harassment based on sexual orientation, based on gender identity or expression, or even because the people who are harassing you think you might be LGBT. It's the school's obligation to respond to that kind of harassment the same way they respond to every other kind of harassment. It's their job to keep you safe. Hi, my name is Jamal Brown and I'm a legal assistant at GLAAD. For much of my life, I knew that there was something different. I knew that I was gay, but I didn't have a word for it. However, I knew that what I was, what I am, wasn't socially acceptable. I, know, I knew that it was immoral, or at least immoral based on what I was told and what I was to believe about myself, my identity. And I tried so hard each and every day to mask myself, to silence, to hide any trace of me being gay. My teammates knew that I wasn't like them. They knew that I was different and they took advantage of that. There were times when I was called a sissy, I was called fag, I was called queer, I was called gay, and that had such a deep impact on me that I struggled at times to love myself. I, I struggled to the extent that I did have suicidal thoughts and I almost got to that point where I didn't want to live. I had to hold on and I, I held on to that ounce of one last ounce of courage and hope. And that's what I'm asking you to do, to hold on to that last ounce of that last bit of hope and love for yourself to keep moving because at the end of the day, it will get better. I'm living proof that it does get better because you get stronger. There are people out there just like you who experience this or have experienced this and are waiting for you to get to that point and want you to get to that point where you love yourself so that you, so that they can join you and they can be there for you. You will get there, you can do it. I'm Robbie Samuels, Special Events Manager at GLAAD and things have definitely gotten better. I couldn't have imagined my life would be as good as it is today. When I was 20 years old, I was really lost and confused and overwhelmed by life. And now here at 36, it's just such a wonderful thing to be surrounded by community and friends. Hi, I'm Jennifer Levi, and I'm the director of the Transgender Rights Project at Gay and Lesbian Advocates and Defenders. In 1977, I was 12 years old and living in Miami Beach, Florida. In January that year, Dade County passed a gay rights law. I didn't really know about much about it at the time, but shortly afterwards, Anita Bryant began her Save the Children campaign, and my life changed. In school, classmates and teachers talked about the immorality of the so-called gay lifestyle and how terrible it would be to be gay. It was particularly hard to hear that at a time when I was just beginning to develop a sense of who I was. And even though I didn't have any of the language at the time, I suspected that I was lesbian and that I was transgender. And so hearing it, all the terrible things about being gay in the school made it really very difficult. And I remember one teacher in particular talking about how we were going to go to hell and it was bad and it was wrong. And I heard other students cheering her on and it felt pretty terrible. It felt terrible because of who I had a sense of, because of the sense I had of who I was. But more than that as well, there was a secret in my house, which is that my dad was gay. In June of 1977, the gay rights law was repealed by a two to one margin. And I remember my father taking me to a rally that was 
was hoped would be um, a victory rally, but it wasn't. And I just remember crying at the time and being with a whole group of people who were crying and sad. And I was wearing this orange t-shirt that said, a day without human rights is like a day without sunshine. And candidly, it got worse. It got worse because the whisper campaigns got louder and kids would make fun of other kids in the school. And there were teachers who we all suspected were gay and they were made fun of. And um, I'm not proud to say it, but a lot of us just got quieter and took it and didn't know what to do. But it does get better, and it got better for me. It got better as soon as I really got out of, of that school. And um, now I get to represent gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender people. I can proudly stand in front of a judge and um, say that it's wrong. It's wrong for kids to pick on other kids, and there's laws that protect us. And judges can confirm um, all of those points, and so it gets better. It really gets much better. But I do want to say it can be really dark during some of those times, um, but it gets better. It absolutely gets better. My name's Ruthie. I'm GLAD's webmaster, and I'm seeing it get better. Hi, my name is Eva Boyce. I'm the chief financial officer at GLAD, Gay and Lesbian Advocates and Defenders. And I have two jobs, really. I'm a mom, and that's a job that I'll have for the rest of my life. And my son is 26 years old, he's grown, but I worry about him constantly and I want to make sure that he's safe and that's really the most important thing to me as a mom. My son's safety and knowing that he can come to me if he needs to for help. So if you are watching this and you're a young person, you may be younger than my son, you may be older, if you're experiencing um, uh, any bullying or any harm or don't feel safe, it's really important that you let someone know because we need you here. I certainly would be devastated if anything happened to my son. If you're being bullied or harassed at school, you're not alone and you can take action. CLAD's Legal Info Line can help. It's free and confidential. We're here Monday to Friday. From 1.30 to 4.30. We take calls in English. Y hablamos español. Estamos aquí para ayudarte. You have rights, and we're here to make sure that you know what they are. We provide you with options. We connect you with resources. GLAD works in the six New England states, but we help anyone who calls us. You can make it better right now. Call us. Llámanos.